picky about chairs. I'll buy a chair and I'll wear that sucker out before I get another one. Even then, I take forever trying out chair after chair in the store. I usually go for office chairs. Simple enough, I'll be sitting at a desk after all. This time I'm trying something different. I'm sitting on it. Ewin Racing's Gaming Chairs. There are five chair lines with several styles, colors, and features. This is the Flash XL. It came in a huge box, so getting it into my little car was interesting. Getting it into the house was yet another adventure. It came well packed. Even though the box was kind of damaged, the stuff inside was still perfect. Since it's so heavy, if you can get help to put it together, take it. Otherwise, it mostly comes together the same way every other chair I've assembled does. It comes with everything you need, including two hex keys and what I hope are extra screws. The covering is PU leather. I was expecting beige or yellow going by the color on the site, but it's actually a golden glittery color. I'm not even sure if it shows up fully on camera. It's kind of pimp. It feels nice. It kind of cradles me. And so far, cat resistant. But I'm watching you. I tried out the chair for a week and a half, just to get an impression. I did my usual desk stuff. This chair was ergonomically designed for gamers, for people who sit in front of a computer for long stretches of time. I played a marathon session of GTA, I played Left 4 Dead 2 for hours on end, and then I spent hours and hours editing. I also just sat here and rocked and vegged. Ewin chairs are patterned after race car racing seats. It almost feels like I'm missing seat belts. It's fairly adjustable. The armrests have six axes of movement. It took me a couple of days to figure out what these buttons did. They just moved the armrest side to side, and these buttons move the armrest forward and back. But in my mind, they fire phasers. Fire. Fire. To recline, you have this pretty butch metal handle, and it will recline almost completely flat, which kind of freaks me out. I feel like I'm about to be inceptioned out of a dream. It also goes pretty far forward. I don't know, do people actually sit like this? It's got a pretty high headrest and I could totally fall asleep in this chair. I actually have fallen asleep in this chair. Remember, for a chair, it's heavy, but there's a lot of metal support. The heavy five-star base is all metal. Trust me, when I was still putting it together, I tripped and stubbed my toe on it. Let's just say my reaction was not advertiser friendly. Mother piece of shit, God. The big wheels roll smoothly on a hardwood floor. On carpet, it'd probably do pretty well except in shag. But if you have cats that like to sit under you, check before you roll. It's very solid feeling, something my previous chair lacked. It creaked when I moved. This chair has not creaked. We'll see in a couple years if that's still true. Also, the gas cylinder in my last chair, my last few chairs actually, always fail and just bottoms out. I don't think I'm gonna have that problem with this chair. First, it's a new cylinder, so it's not going to fail right away. But it's also, its minimum height is already the height of my desk. So it's, it's perfect. It will go higher, but my feet won't touch the floor anymore. I'll feel like a little kid. This model comes with two pillows. It has an adjustable lumbar support, something this old spine appreciates. It's nice when I lean back and sit correctly. But usually when I work, I lean forward, and I'm sure that's bad for my back. The other pillow is for your neck. But I don't usually use it. It's, it's a bit too puffy for me, but after use it probably will crush down like most pillows and eventually conform to my neck. Or my bones will change shape. One of those. These wings keep your legs aligned. You can't really spread out too much. It's not easy to tuck a foot under your leg like I used to do, but that's also bad for your knees, so don't do that. This chair design may not work for every body type. So why isn't this going in my new filming set? One, I need it here where I edit. I shoot for maybe an hour, two tops every week or so, but here is where I really need all the support. I sit at this desk a lot. I'm either writing, editing, playing games, or I'll spin around and watch TV. Also, the door to my new set isn't exactly the easiest to navigate carrying a big heavy chair. I'm not even sure it'll fit in the door. If I got another chair, I'd probably have to assemble it down there. My wife and kids want one too, but this one is mine. You can find Ewin gaming chairs at the link below. Use the code NEWBIE and get 25% off. It's comfortable on long stretches, it's built like a tank. It can get pricey, depending on the model, but it's also pretty comfortable. I've learned the hard way not to go too cheap on seating, but that's up to you. You do have to sit normally in this chair, no fancy sitting. 
you know, sitting with your leg over the armrest or anything like that. And when you do your three-day marathon gaming sessions, it'll still hold up your barely conscious body in a fairly dignified position. Like, subscribe, comment, the bell, you know, the usual YouTube stuff. This is the newbie, and I'll see you later, kids. Toodles! And special thanks to my patrons. You guys rock!